this is a patient. We flip him over on his back. We do most of our procedures from the back, dissect away the muscles, look down at the lumbar spine, kind of zoom up on this model. Now I can put the needle in three different places when I do these, uh, what are uh, these epidural injections. One, I can put the needle right up against the nerve. That's called a nerve root block. Two, I can put the needle up to the nerve and next to the foramen such that when I inject, the medication will go cover the nerve and it will sneak into that spinal canal at that level too. And three, I can skip the nerve altogether, go between the vertebral bodies and get that epidural space just like you would if you were getting epidural anesthesia if you were giving birth to a baby. So as far as technique, we do use conscious sedation. That's equivalent of Valium and fentanyl, or Valium and morphine essentially to make you calm during the procedure but not to knock you out. Uh, we acquire a scout scan to kind of show us what we're looking at. Place the needle using imaging guidance. We prefer CT. And then once we think we're exactly where the needle should be, we do a test injection with x-ray dye, and that shows up as this bright stuff on a CT scan. And this is kind of how it looks. There's a, be a patient on the scanner. There's a technologist on the outside in a control room. There's doctors in this room, and they have a monitor here they're looking at when they do that. And this shows you three different needle placements that I just told you about. If I do a selective nerve root block, you can see how I'm really trying to treat radicular pain. I'm trying to treat that one nerve to see if that's the cause of the pain. Here's a transferaminal epidural steroid injection. I've injected. I've got some contrast going along the nerve. Here's the nerve coming out of the foramen. I've also got contrast going back into the spinal canal. It's both. And then I have the epidural steroid injection. You know, the foramina are out here. This one, I've gone between the vertebral bodies. I inject the contrast. This is mostly for back pain or for spinal stenosis. And this is mostly for radiculitis or radiculopathy. So there's kind of a spectrum that we go along here when we're looking for it.